Yo yo, it's Ringolius here, and you are watching Wrench Feels Like Playing Soulstone Survivors. If you like what you see, feel free to drop a like and subscribe, it'd really do a lot to help the channel out. With that being said, let's get it on. It's the first time I've uh, tried this game. See what it's all about. It's obviously a similar style to what I've been playing recently, which is just a roguelike uh, auto shooter type games. Okay, well, what do we got here? There's a lot of lot of stuff on the screen right now. So, okay, so the barbarian is a character. It's our only one unlocked right now. I'm gonna turn the volume down just a little loud. I guess we uh, we just try her out and see how she goes. Um, let's see what we got. So 20 max health, 15% critical chance, plus 25 cast frequency modifier, and plus 10% movement speed modifier. So fairly decent, it seems. Um, your runes. To equip runes, you first need runic power. You can get runic power through skill tree and by completing achievements. Runes also require specific achievements to complete to be completed before they can be used. Okay, uh, the Scorching Valley. Available materials. Not too sure what those are. Uh, copper and topaz. Metal used to forge weapons can be found in the following maps, and then topaz gem used to be forge weapons as well. Okay, well, let's get it cracking. Basic, it's already attacking auto. Limiting monsters to summon a lord. Okay, so I can't aim. This guy just spins in a circle, so. Doesn't really need to aim. Time alive, so it's a counter that's going up. Objectives, eliminate the Lords of the Void, five. Eliminate monsters to summon a Lord, 400. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Really skulls, what did that just do? So enemies, Definitely attacked. Do I get damage if I run into them? No. So it's it. Yeah, okay, so enemies have to actually attack you to do damage. That's nice. That's... So, Kraken Bones doesn't seem to do anything. It doesn't seem to do anything. Do I do more damage if I'm facing you? No. Okay, our first, our first modifier. Expansive, common power, your attacks have great area effect and bigger projectiles. Leviathan, common power, you can cause more damage but move slower. Powerful strikes, common power, you cause more damage.
Well, powerful strikes seems to be. I'm gonna go with powerful strikes. Five percent more damage for now. Okay, so is there a dash? Uh, yes. Okay, so there is a dash. Might change that. Let's actually change that key binding if I can. Okay, so we got what looks to be a boss. Could be wrong. Wonder how many dashes we actually have. So I definitely have some sort of recharge. I can't dash. Oh, okay, it's beside my health bar there. Okay. Another. Okay, so this is an attack now. Okay, so chain lightning. It's a chain of lightning that jumps to nearby targets, causes damage, and implies distracted. Gain electrified. Jumps to seven, damages 483, which is nice. A quick strike hits enemies at a long line in target direction, causes damage. Damage is multiplied based on your movement speed. Okay. And then sharp spear, hurls spear in target direction, causes damage. Well, that one seems to be the most cooldown two set. Yeah, I'm gonna get the sharp spear. Chance, pass frequency, or armor. So there's a rare ability of plus 12%. We might as well get that for crit chance. Let's do that. It's pretty big. Okay. Another upgrade to crit chance or block power area modifier. Let's go. Only a 2% increase to. Crit, so let's go expansive power. 5% area increase. Okay, I'm dying. I'm just struggling to like aim and not take damage. Let's just try not to take damage. Got some health at least. Okay, another ability. Blurry. Throws daggers at the target direction, quickly dash, causing damage. Applies bleed and has a chance to gain form every 0 0.0 or 0.2 seconds. Number of hits, 20. That's a lot of hits. Damage, 105. Subdue. Strikes in the target direction, causing damage based on the number of stacks of finesse you on, on you. Okay. Base damage is 53, damages per stack 8, and cooldown of 2. Body slam. Slams your body in the target direction, causes damage. Damage is multiplied based on your armor power, gain prowess. Still don't know what any of this means yet, but we'll figure it out. I'm gonna go with Flurry for now. I might rethink uh, my dodge button. Um, just because you have to aim in this game. So, unless there's an auto aim feature, which, now that I think about it. 
How do I am? Yeah, I'm a I'm a simple mind. I I definitely prefer auto aim. Okay, so we're gonna go. Um, I think we're gonna go. Man, what do I want to go with? Uh, I'm gonna go with Behemoth. Just max my health up a little bit. 45 health, not bad. Okay, what is this? So this is actually a boss, eh? Or what is this? Yes, so that's an actual boss. Okay, gotcha. Understood. Alrighty then. Okay, let's go... And block power. Do I have the ability to block? Or is that just... His armor is obviously armor, so what is block? Well, I'm just gonna grab it. Um, I'm gonna look at bindings and see if there's actually a block. No. I didn't think so. That'd be weird. Okay, let's go. Earthquake. Conjures an earthquake under random enemy causing damage and applies brittle every 5.5 seconds. Gain colossal. Let's take that. Um So relentless you use your skills more frequently. Pass frequency, 5%. Or do we would go powerful strikes? Let's go powerful strikes and uh, um, damage modifier plus 5%. Attack speed. Uh, or you may now activate your skill multiple times at once. 8% chance. I think I'm gonna go with cast frequency and attack speed up 30%. That's freaking huge for this. At least for the the uh, sharp spear. Goes up to a level two. So okay, so the weapons upgrade individually as per norm. Okay, so slowly but surely taking out the boss. I'm not really focusing on him, but I'm sure my uh, earthquake attacks and my uh, my spears are doing pretty decent there. Okay, so armor shatter. Slams the ground around you, causing damage and applying shatter. Gain prowess. Or body slam, double slash, slashes the target direction twice, causing damage and applying debilitation debilitated with each hit gain bulk art and finesse i'm gonna go with armor shatter i wonder it's all these different types of shattered reduces armor power by 20 for eight seconds prowess increases damage modifier by eight percent for six seconds slams the ground around you causing damage and applying shattered gain prowess Interesting. Go down three point. Let's just grab that. So I already have or hmm. Let's just grab that. And... So if you, I wonder if you have like multiple abilities with the can kind of the same effect. If uh, there's probably bonuses on top of that that help. I don't know. Okay, so agile. agile. You move faster, 10% move speed. Every time you apply form, you have a chance to gain haste. Haste movement speed is 1%, chance 25%. So what is form? Increases critical chance every six seconds. Haste increases movement speed by 1% for second. Every time you apply form. I don't know what the hell form is other than that just pull. Okay, magnetic. Gain more experience and have and can collect 
experience crystals from a greater distance. Makes sense. Uh, honestly, let's go with that. Let's go magnetic. Err. Why is this a rare power? Like, I don't even know what the hell form is. Like, what is form? Every time you apply form, form increases the critical chance of six. Like, I don't understand. I'm not, I'm gonna get magnetic until I understand what the hell that means. Maybe I'm missing out. Uh, relentless. Cast frequency 10%. That seems good to me. I'm getting a lot. Oh, because I just picked up the boss because I killed the boss. Okay. Uh, Shockwave Totem. Summons totems. Okay, so there's summons in this game. A few seconds. The fire shockwaves at nearby enemies, causing damage and applying dazed. Earth Bolt. Shoots petrified projectile in the target direction, causing damage. Gain Colossal. It's a dude. Strikes the target direction, causing damage in the number of stacks. Finesse you have. Let's do Earth Bolt. Kind of stick to the slamming and Earth theme kind of deal, I guess. Try that. Okay, now we have like another upgrade. Leviathan causes damage, but slower. Move slower. Let's not mess with our movement speed too much. We don't have to. Just up our damage modifier by 5% instead. Ooh, it's that. Multicast. Increases multicast chance of the skill missile. Skills that affect this power, sharp spear, and earth bolt, 36%. That is freaking massive. Let's do that. All right, that was pretty decent. Okay, so we have 91 health, so definitely want to see if we can pick up some freaking health here. I'm like really kind of focused on trying to collect gems. I'm not really focusing on not taking damage. Okay. Well, let's just try out a Shockwave Totem, see what it looks like. Oh, never mind. So, I'm out of abilities. I have max abilities, so you can have six max abilities. Okay. Interesting. Let's just chill and keep the ones that we have. Attack speed. Cast frequency 30%. Let's do that. For uh, Earth Bolt. Just make sure we're not taking unnecessary damage. Still don't know if there's like stuff to pick up. I wonder if there's like other stuff you can like pick up. Area of modifier. Area of effect modifier. For Earthquake. Or do you just do area of effect and bigger projectiles for everything? 5%? No, we're gonna go Earthquake, 20% area modifier. That's pretty big. All your attacks may now apply bleed. That seems pretty good. Chance 25%. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds freaking really good. Got some alligators after us. Okay. We got a lot of gems. Got all this stuff on top of our character there. So those must be our modifiers. Okay. Don't, obviously don't know what all of it means at all, but okay, so damage modifier 15% causes more damage. Yeah, let's get that. Okay, so I got another Lord of the Void. Um, yeah, I wonder if there's any kind of um, 40,000 health. Other kind of pickups, if there's like buffs I can pick up. I don't see anything yet. Health pickup, which seems to kind of be rare. Okay, let's kill the 
Multicast, 8%. Expansive goes up by 10%. Leviathan goes up by... My damage goes up by 30, but movement speed... I'm not compromising movement speed. Um, let's go area of effect for everything. Up by 10%. That's quite a bit. Okay, we almost got this... Vos. I'm not even gonna... Keith... Yeah. Keith... Keithaz? Is that how you say it? Keithaz? Uh, increased damage. Damage modifier plus 40% for mm, missile skills. Yeah, let's do that. Got him. Okay. All your attacks. I already got that, though. Is that, is that an additional? Oh, upgraded. Okay, it goes up by more damage. Okay, so let's actually just do attack speed for Earth Bolt. Or not. Did I get another upgrade or what what just happened there? I think I might have accidentally messed up there. Okay, so we're gonna go with this one then. Whirlwind modifier area of effect by 20%. That's that's freaking huge. Pick up area by a hundred percent. Experience by 20% or damage from... I'm going to go with Magnetic again, even though that's like the lesser of the options here, but let's do that. Um, probably should get more armor, but I'm going to go Powerful Strikes again. Another 5% increase. Ooh, legendary. Area of Effect. Increases the area modifier of a physical skill, so majority of my stuff here other than earthquake so sweet got that got that i'm getting a lot of rare stuff okay so damage increase for area uh increased damage modifier of the area skill which is all my attacks oh no other than two of them so thrust skill let's get the, the epic power one um okay maybe my movement speed up by 20 percent. let's do that let's do that um and then we'll go area of effect modifier up by five percent so yeah let's say my build is getting a lot thicker all right we got two Lords of the Void down. Yeah, I don't see any kind of pickups or anything on the screen other than just regular gems. Could be wrong. Like, I wonder how I'm getting the different types of gems on the side of my screen there. Or if I'm just a, not understanding what that means. Bloodshed again, up the damage pretty much by double. A little less than double. Yeah, my whirlwind attack just like majorly got increased there. That. Okay. That's all. Here we go. Alfred? Is that what that is? Alfred the Fallen King? Okay. Agile again for another 10% increase of speed. Yes, please. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I am just, just decimating him. Okay. That guy just... That guy just went boom, real quick. 
owls real quick. Okay, damage increase, epic power. Affected by this modifier, sharp spear and earth bolt. That's freaking 40% increase. Or, no, no, there's no ore. That's what we're getting. Um, okay, here we go. Um, block power up by eight, or no, up by six. Not even your chance of blocking attack. Okay, so it's just a chance of block. Let's go a chance of blocking by, let's do that. Um, and then lethality, your chance of causing a critical hit goes up by four. Or cast frequency goes up by 5%. Or experience goes up by 10 and pick up. Let's actually, uh, let's go with magnetic again. Let's do that. Vicious strikes, rare power. You have a 100% chance to deal a critical strike on enemies with full health. That sounds pretty sweet. That sounds pretty sweet. Let's do that. Attack speed, cast frequency of sharp spear, or damage of sharp spear. Like 30% or 30 to 50%. Let's go attack speed up. Okay, so three lords down. Hasn't been too bad so far. Gotta really just keep moving, avoid damage. Pretty straightforward. Okay, what do we got here? So let's go let's up our crit damage by 12%. Let's just do it. Doing like 36k damage. One attack. Uh, only a couple more enemies to go, and then we'll have the boss. I wonder if this one will just go down like a freaking wet towel or what. Chain. Skill chain. Whenever you cast a skill of type thrust, you have a chance of casting another one of your current skills with the type slam. I have one slam and I have two thrusts. 8% chance. Or do I just up my health or my air of effect? That's what weird let's just do that even though i don't know if i actually have i'm sure i do like i have thrust attacks and a slam attack so should good should work okay movement speed up by 10. it's always in t yeah, i'm gonna just do that i'm i'm a, i love movement speed like the faster you go the better the, the easier it is to avoid damage like just makes the most sense Okay, let's see how easily this guy goes down. Alaxis, the Chaos Bringer. Okay, let's go with Power of Strikes up to 40% damage. You dead. You dead. Okay, I just got hit though. And he's dead. And he's dead. Okay, multicast chance up by 16%. Let's do that. Okay. Attack speed up by 20%. Let's do that. It just makes sense. Okay, got some like fire giants after us or something. 
flying enemy is just not going away. Increase the damage to flurry to by 30%. That's freaking huge. Momentum boost. Uncommon power. For each skill you have of the type thrust, increases the modifiers of your skills with the thrust type. So the more thrust I have, the more thrust I have. Uh, the skills that will be affected is whirlwind, earthquake, armor, shatter, and earth bolt. Which is a lot. Yeah, let's do that. We are just mowing them down. No problem so far. Gotta pay attention to where you are, and that's about it. So we're Twelve minutes in, no problem so far. Okay, let's uh, let's get some armor. No, maybe not. Let's go bloodshed again. Up our bleed by 509, like 25% chance. Damage 590. That's for everything. Not bad. Earth attunement. For each skill you have of the earth type, increase the modifiers of your skills without earth type. Which is a lot of my stuff, so let's do that. Just up in crit chance. Alright. Okay, we got another one. Kulameth, damage increases, of armor shatter, 45%, or bloodshed goes up to 1,032 damage. I'm going to go with the rare power for armor, sh armor shatter, 45% damage. Kulameth, the incarnation of ice. Alright, well, we'll see how you do, buddy. The last two uh, fell pretty, pretty quickly. And so do you. There we go. Eliminate all the lords there. Okay. Momentum boost. Let's do that. Or actually, let's go damage modifier for uh, Whirlwind there. And then area of effect of lasting skills. So Flurry, Earthquake. Might as well just do it. And for some reason my auto aim doesn't work anymore. Yep. No worries. What did I just do? Complete 100% of the Scorching Valley. So I beat the level, it seems. And camera just loves to mess up. I show here. I should have probably paused the game, but you know. Oh wow. Okay, well. 
I died, because I wasn't paying attention. This is annoying as hell. This camera, for some reason, just loves to unfocus. Out of the nowhere. And I just lost a run because I wasn't paying attention. That wasn't very smart. That wasn't very smart. Time alive. Okay, well. That's. That's okay. Hmm. Okay, so Earth Bolt did decent. I wonder. If I didn't die so stupidly, it would have been better, but. Oh well. You live, you learn. Maybe I unlocked another character. Barbarian was pretty freaking powerful though. Like, but didn't seem to have a, didn't seem to have too many issues there. Time alive. So yeah, this is just restart all over. Let's go back to the main menu. Menu. Okay. So we have a bunch of gems. One each of these other yeah, like other things here. Okay, so we did unlock characters. Okay, so we have the Pyromancer and the Hound Master. Pyromancer is probably self-explanatory. Okay, so minus 20 health, but plus 20% critical damage modifier, plus 20% damage modifier, minus 15 armor power, plus 25% or plus 20% area modifier unique skills are all locked available skill types arcane chaos fire electric and shadow there's a bunch of different weapons that he has as well that you can pick so this is a lot like artifact seekers kind of type deal with their progression with weapons and character builds not bad then the hound master is minus 20% or 20 max health, plus 15% damage modifier, minus 10% move speed, plus extra health percent, or plus 10% extra health per crystal, whatever the hell that means. Like one of these, which what type of crystal does that mean? Uh, and then 25% area modifier, so that's pretty cool. Nature, fire, projectile, bomb, and blast, so each character has a different type of, type of, uh, Attacks they can they can do, which is kind of sweet. Hmm. Allows you to kind of forces you to kind of choose different things. Well, let's just go. Like the barbarian was super powerful if I wasn't stupid and didn't like just totally kill myself there. Probably would have made it pretty far with them. Let's go with the houndmaster. See what that that uh. Let's see what it's like. Okay, fires mortar shots in area in front of you, causing damage and applies bleed. Oh, I still have to unlock him. Okay, so that uh, let's unlock him and select him. We've selected him. Blacksmith recipes. So requires achievement. Prestige level ten. Requires achievement. Reach prestige level ten with the barbarian. What about him? Okay, so there's different different things you can unlock with the blacksmith, ruins, what are these? What's this? You need runic power to use this ruin. Yeah, but what's the one I did unlock? What's the one that I do have unlocked? What are all these ones? Why can't I? Am I crazy? Or are those just telling you what this row is? It's kind of cool. I knew what those meant. What are the ones that are unlocked? Weird. Okay, skill tree. So you spend 
these gems. Okay. I don't necessarily know if I want to spend any gems just yet. Achievements, a bunch of them. Okay. Okay. Let's go with this guy and try not to be dumb this time and we will, uh, we'll just see where this goes. So I've already 100%ed this, so... Seems like reduces healing effects, so there's modifiers that you can add. You can enable curses. And then obviously get better bonuses out of it. Curses of the Void. Their way to go to a different map. Complete this map with all of the previous curse levels enabled to unlock this level. You only need to set an amount of curse level per level enabled. Curses per level enabled. Curses to get to that level. Let's go reduce healing for elite and enemies have now 10% extra health and armor. Lord of the Voids have 10 health and armor. Let's do that. And then godless goblins. Explosive goblins now appear earlier in the match. Let's just do that. Probably something. Don't want to see. Okay, well, let's just see what this is and let's go. Okay, so we move much slower. We have a pupper that does damage. Not bad. So, where do I get certain gems? Is it just random? And I just collect them pretty from like, they just auto, they auto come to me, it seems. Could be wrong here. Uh, okay, so let's go. Damage modifier 5%. Everything. Just try and focus on getting as many gold coins as possible. Okay, new attack. Bombardment, bomb barrage, or poison bun puddle. Calls down a bombardment around your current position. Each bomb deals damage in a large area that applies bleed. Damage is multiplied based on your area modifier. Okay. Uh, bomb barrage fires multiple bombs in the area in front of you, each causing damage and applying bleed. It's kind of like what my gun already kind of does. Uh, throws a poison projectile at random enemy, causing damage and leaving a poison puddle on the ground that a poison debilitated and poisoned. Well, let's change it up. Let's go with the poison puddle. Okay. Yeah, the mobs definitely group together, so the poison puddle is definitely not a bad, bad thing to go with. Multicast, 48%. Increase the multicast chance of poison puddle. Let's uh, do that. Let's do that is... Uh, agility kind of makes the most sense seeing as how we move like a freaking snail. Awesome, okay, I like that. That just pumped us up quite a bit. Alright, another weapon. So, 
flame wave cause a large explosion at your position causing a damage applying burn and shatter explosive shot fires an explosive shot in the target direction that causes damage and applies shatter the enemies in a large area gain two en two enemies in a large area gain ammunition well that seems like something i want want to go with. i'm gonna go with that one It's like a rocket launcher. So, what's that? Nothing. Wonder. Okay, so. What are all these crystals on the side there? Like. So obviously like the gold coin gems or whatever the gold ones are for my like level ups okay, let's get magnetic increases pickup area 150 and experience by 30 it's pretty pretty massive um eliminate alaxis chaos bringer all right can do Good chance up by 8%. Let's do it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay, another weapon. Uh, shrapnel bomb. Throws a bomb in the area in front of you and explodes into projectiles that fly in all directions, causes damage, and the number of stacks bleed on the target. Okay, combustion emits an aura fire that applies burn in a nearby enemy every 10 or 0.5 seconds. Let's go. Or flame wave, flower of explosion at your position causing damage and shatter. Let's go with the flame wave. Vicious strikes, you have a 100% chance to deal critical strike at enemy with full health. We'll take that for sure. Just more damage, more damage. Okay, let's go with movement speed again. Yeah. Okay, Alexis is almost dead. Poison cloud. Someone's a moving poison cloud that applies poison and weakness every 0.5 seconds to enemies caught within. Let's just do that to add with my uh, my other poison damage there. Okay, let's pick up. Did I just die? What the hell? Okay. Okay, sure. Uh-huh. Saw that one coming. Totally. Sure. Okay, maybe let's just simplify things and go back to the, uh... Maybe we'll just go back to this guy. Things seemed a lot simpler with him. All right. I wonder if that was like uh what the reckless goblin it was this uh this this is talking about. Explosive goblin now here. Let's maybe just take that off. Every time we kill an enemy, there's a chance ten two percent chance of falling near your position. I think I can deal with that. I I I usually stay on the move, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay, let's just try this again. Hopefully I don't die just freaking randomly. I can do this. I wish I didn't. I wish I wasn't dumb the first playthrough. Damn it. But that was super easy. The first playthrough was super easy. Maybe this is a little bit more of a dose of reality of what this game is actually like. Maybe I just wasn't taking the enemies serious enough. That last round, I don't know. I was just trying to go get an upgrade. I don't know. 
Okay, let's go cast frequency. 10%, that's pretty big. Just try and get as many gems as possible here. Okay. Bloodsaw, lightning bolt. The bloodsaw launches a sharp projectile in the target's direction, quickly causes damage every 2.2 seconds and applying bleed and gain finesse, earthquake, or lightning bolt. Fires lightning projectile towards a random enemy causing damage, gain electrified, and trait devastated. I'm gonna go with bloody saw. Alright, so that meteor was pretty big and it did do damage. We gotta worry about that. So. Okay, there's another meteor there. Okay, so cast frequency 10% or movement speed. Let's go movement speed by Bleed or bloodshed, sorry. Get bleed effect 25%. This is some damage when it comes with it. And then health doesn't come very often, so you gotta really pay attention. Titan's Cleaver slashes the target direction, causing damage. Damage is multiplied based on your block power. Chain Lightning and Body Slam. Let's go with Titan's Flavor. It's not bad. It's a big AoE. Damage increase, legendary power, damage modifier up by 50% for physical attacks, which is all of my attacks so far. So we will be doing that one, yes. Thank you very much. Come again. Okay. I still have a lot of enemies to kill here. That did a lot of damage. Okay, so gotta really avoid any projectiles. Okay, area of effect for your cleaver by 20% or cast frequency by 15% for everything. Or movement speed by 20. Let's go cast speed to everything. Uh, and then that's now 20% for everything. It's not bad. Okay, so first boss, here we go. Alfred Zephalen King. Um, I'm gonna go with the totem this time just to see what it does. Totems at your position for a few seconds. The fire shockwaves at nearby enemies causing damage and flying dazed. That doesn't sound bad. Okay, I just lost a lot of health there. Pay attention. Damage increase to Titan's Flavor by 30%. Let's do that. And the boss is halfway done. This is definitely a lot harder than my first round. Definitely a lot harder than my first round. Okay, go cast speed is up. 15. Oh, I am almost dead. Okay. I need some help. Bad. Um okay. Jeez Louise. Uh okay, so there's enough. Oh my goodness. Am I dead? Nope. I was almost dead though. Okay. 
So we got throwing axe, hurls axe to the target direction that returns to you, causing damage, gains finesse and piercing, ground break. Creates crack in the ground towards a random enemy causing damage. Let's do that one. And gains piercing. Let's do that one. It's a lot of damage. Cool down two seconds. That's a lot of damage. Holy crap. Thousand damage every two seconds. That's not a bad deal. Oh, I killed the boss and I didn't even realize. I was almost dying, that's probably why I didn't realize. Okay, here we go. Uh, relentless cast frequency up by 55 for block power. Let's go block power, ape. Um, and then whirlwind area modifier. Yes, we're gonna do that by 20%. That's huge. Um, and then one more attack. Shattered and prowess for armor. Thunderstrike over a random enemy causing damage. Stun and electrified. Or hurl spirit target direction causing damage. Gain form and haste. It just seems smart. It gives you pretty decent buffs. Gains electrified, but yeah, I'm gonna take the boss of form and haste. Uh, area of effect. Increase the area modifier of whirlwind and body sob. 40%. Yeah. Let's do that. Brutal strikes is increasing the bleed. Your critical strikes now apply bleed. 50%. Goes up by a lot. Let's do that. And then our last. We want to swap out a weapon attack. I don't think we will. At least not yet. I think you have the ability to do that later if you don't if you want to. I could be wrong on that. Laceration. Increase the damage of every bleed you apply with 30%. Rare effect is area of bloody saw skill by 30%. Rare. 30% or let's just do the rare one. Okay, I'm still almost dying though. I really need some health. I need health and pay attention to where I'm going. What's attacking? So, area of effect of your cleaver, 20%. I really want to go magnetic, but I'm going to go with the cleaver. Finally, got some health. That's nice. Okay, another boss. Here we go. Area of effect. A bloody saw or mag. I'm. You, I'm gonna have to do this. It's too good. Let's just do it. Fifty percent for the bloody saw. Would like to know like what some of these gems mean on the side of the script. there's like yeah i guess there is an upgrade so go back to the main menu okay so what do i got i got six thousand gems i might want to lower the freaking difficulty because i'm not good enough it seems to make it past this runic power to use these runes i have no runic power 
skill tree and completing achievements. So is this skill tree affect all my characters or just the one? Probably all of them. Okay, so let's go. Damage modifier by 2%. That takes a lot of gems. Do it again. 6%. Movement speed, is that movement speed? Yeah, let's do movement speed, 1%. Movement speed, 2%. Damn. That's expensive. I guess we'll just do health as well. And then we'll do one more movement speed. Or, yeah, one more movement speed. Okay. Um, I am gonna... We're gonna go with this guy again. Probably will lower the difficulty a tad bit. I am not good enough just yet to be... It really doesn't seem like... These are all that much more. Enemies now have 10% extra health and 10 more armor's power. Lords of the Fallen now have 10% extra health and 10 armor. Like, it just doesn't seem like it should be that much more difficult. In reality, like, 10% is not that much. So then why does it feel like... Man, I, maybe I'm just not paying attention? No, I'm gonna try this one more time on this intensity. I don't... Let's, let's, let's try this Not take stupid damage, and we'll be fine. Just don't take stupid damage. Okay, multicast, legendary power. Well, just skill multiple times at once. What does that even mean? Is that like, yeah, you know I'm just gonna get it because it says legendary, but. Collecting, collecting the gems. I take a damage though. Let's not take damage unnecessarily, please. Go oh, lightning bolt just to see. I guess we haven't gone with lightning bolt. Damage modifier by 10%. Definitely taking that. Multicast. Increases multicast chance of lightning bolt by 48%. I will take that. I wonder if the health disappears over time. Probably shouldn't. Stick with the lightning theme, let's go chain lightning. Increases damage modifier of lightning bolt by 30%. Or expand. I'm gonna go with the area modifier effect of 20% everything.
Pass frequency of everything, 20%. That's really good. Let's do that. Okay, so we got our first boss, Alfred. Let's go armor shatter again. Owl's face. You did. Attack speed of lightning bolt, or yeah, let's go by 20%. Yeah. Attack speed of lightning bolt to 40%, or movement speed, or polarity, polarity shift for each skill you have the electric type modifiers your skills without the electric type. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go with movement speed up by 20. Um, Thunderstrike. Is that different than. Yeah, that's different than what I've had here. Over random enemy. Plus a stun and electrified. Or do I go with something completely different? Damage every two seconds causing bleed. So bloody saw, sharp spear. I might want to go with a different type of damage. Nah, let's stick with the Thunder theme. Let's see if there's like a... Yeah, we'll stick with the Thunder theme. Uh, area of effect by 40% for my area of effect skills, which is every... No, it's just the three. I'll do that though. 40% is huge, especially for the World Rune Strike. Uh, Relentless. Common... Power. Let's go. Do damage increase by five percent. Got a lot of lightning going on. Got to really pay attention to not taking damage. That is one thing that I just sometimes blank on. I just get distracted and don't think about not dying. Okay. Strikes the target direction causes damage in the number of stacks of finesse on you. Double slash slashes the target direction twice, causing damage applying to debilitated. Each hit gain buckward in finesse. I'm gonna go double slash. Assuming it's not very far reach, but. Or I could be wrong. That looks fairly far reach. Okay, damage of lightning bolt up 30%. Let's do that. Increase damage of Whirlwind by 45%. That's freaking massive. Or for each skill you have of the swing type, increase skills without the swing type. Eh, let's just go damage increase 45% to Whirlwind. That's huge. Another weapon attack we don't need. So we're gonna just go get area of effect of whirlwind again, 20%. Let's do that. Whirlwind is now like half the screen now, which is nice. Let me eat that. Uh, let's go damage to my dual strike. Uh, let's go multicast of Chain Lightning, 48% increase chance, which is massive. Damage increase to Lightning Bolt to 60%, let's do that. Uh, 
boss is pretty much dead. Skill chain, whenever you cast a skill type of electric, you have a chance of casting another one with your current skills with the type of slam. So I have one slam attack. Eh. Let's do that, I guess. Okay, kill the boss. Area of effect power for whirlwind up to 40% or movement speed or just overall by 10. I'm gonna go overall by 10. Slash damage goes up by 30%. Let's do that. Okay, okay, there's a couple options here. Okay, so it increases this chance. Multicat's chance of burst, which is two of my skills. And then you have damage increase to modifiers of the swing, which is two of my attacks. 30% damage increase. Hmm. Let's just do multicast chance 36% on the burst. A polarity shift for each skill you have of electric. Increases modifiers without electric. So that's basically half of my attacks. Let's do that. Damage increased to chain lightning 45. We will do that. I'd say this is going fairly well. Okay, we're just gonna go and bite the bullet, get magnetic for now. Definitely wanna try and get that up a bit. It's a lot of jams. Okay, so sharp blades for each item of the swing type. It affects the stuff without swing type. Just half my stuff. Let's do that. Let's do that. 8% chance of increase. Not bad. So chain lightning attack speed. We'll do that. So I think the area timer is 15 minutes. That was correct from last time. Or was it just when you killed all the bosses? Okay, so powerful strikes, overall damage, or critical strikes or additional damage. Let's go powerful strikes, just up by 10% uh, damage. Everything. Ulumeth, the incarnation of ice. Let's kick his ass. And not take stupid damage. Okay, so I got something following me, so I have to avoid that. Increase damage to Thunderstrike, 45 damage, not bad. Definitely things you have to not get hit by. Okay, so let's just up our health by 30. That makes sense. Got the boss. He's dead. Yeah, okay, chain lightning up to 75% damage. Let's do that. We're gonna go agile speed up to 40. We're gonna go damage increase to our double slash. 90% damage. Let's go. What we got here? Six minutes in. Okay, let's go. Powerful strikes up by 10%. Damage up by 10.
kind of wish I knew what these, like I said, what these gems on the side mean. Other than, other than the ones I get for spending money, I don't know what the rest are. Magnetic again. Okay, we're up against another boss. Gamuth, the incarnation of fire. Uh, we're gonna go magnetic again. Just wear him out. It's almost down. He's dead. He's dead. Area of effect of Thunderstrike, 30%. Yep. Okay, let's go. Block power by 8. Sharp blades, epic power. You For each skill you have of the swing type, increase modifiers of skills without swing type. That's like majority of my stuff. Let's do that. 16%. Not bad. Let's go sharp blades again. Yeah, we got one more boss to kill and we're good. I'm assuming there's a time limit. I think it's 15 minutes, I could be wrong. Strikes, 5% damage increase. Pretty sure we got this, come on. Polarity shift. Increase damage of weapons without electric, or let's just go magnetic. More experience, more pickup range. Damage increase, legendary power. Evolve physical skills, 50% increase. Not bad, that's four of our attacks. Guardian. They'll multicast for everything, 28%. I think that's what took us out last time, the lightning beam, so let's just avoid stupid damage. We don't need to take. Whoa, okay, so as I run into the beam. Oh! Wow. Okay, attack speed of lightning bolt, area of effect of shatter skill. Let's go attack speed of lightning bolt, 50%. Okay, we've got the boss. Is that it? So it's, it's when you kill all the bosses, it's not a time limit. Okay. Uh, attack speed or vicious strikes? Let's go vicious strikes, 100% chance on enemies with full health. <laughs> Do 
choose a portal. Uh, I guess we'll go with the purple one this time. Okay, Let's see where we're going. Ice. Eliminate the Lords of the Void. Let's not die right away this time. Whenever you use this type of swing, slam, no. We're just gonna go uh, uh, power strikes, 5% damage increase. Yeah, this music is just loud, loud. everything again. Don't know how much that actually affected my sound, but okay, area of effect. Increase the area modifier of electric skill. It's like all of my skills. Crit chance at eight percent. Block power up to sixteen. Speed of chain lightning. Let's do that. Um, let's go multicast or damage. Let's go damage increase of double slash up to 120%. It's pretty huge. Okay, so Alexi the Plague Bearer, first boss. Almost a million health points. Okay. Let's just go cast frequency up to 30%. Halfway done. Not bad. Okay, let's get out of here. Chain lightning up to 96% or whirlwind up to 40%. I'm gonna go whirlwind up to... Ah... Uh, it's almost a 100% cast chance. Okay, let's do that for Chain Lightning. Basically doubles our chance of double striking with Chain Lightning. Okay, attack speed for Chain Lightning up to 60%. Let's do that. Uh, let's cast frequency up by 5%. And then we will go crit chance or crit damage by 24%. Uh, we're going to go lethality with our crit damage or crit chance going up to 16%. Attack speed on our double slash makes more sense. Double slash is actually doing pretty, pretty well. Increase damage on Thunderstrike to 90%. Can do, can do. Area of 
effect of swing. It's two of our attacks. No, we're just gonna go. Ah, yes, we're gonna go area of effect. 30%, that's pretty massive. Especially for our whirlwind. Air of effect of our armor shatter, which is 20, or area of effect, all area of effect stuff. Um, we're gonna go with the thunder strike to 60%. Let's do that to 80%. Pretty big. Yeah, Whirlwind is starting to get a little stupid now. It's like majority of the screen now. That's awesome. Uh, let's just up our multicast chance to 32. Polarity shift. Or... Let's just go area of effect of whirlwind again, just to make it even stupider. Okay, we're gonna have to go health now. We're gonna go health. Just uh, give ourselves a little bit more buff. Okay, we're fighting an Alexi and then Agile, up to 70% movement speed, we'll do that. Axis, the Chaos Springer has a way bigger area of effect for his damage, so definitely getting a little harder here. Multicast chance to 40% for everything. Can do. Okay. Almost dead. Just gotta avoid. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, Shatter Armor by that... 30%, let's do that. Okay, Ball's dead. Attack speed of Double Slash to 50%, we'll do that. For damage increase to Thunder Strike to 120. Damage increase from Thunderbolt to 90. Not bad. Whirlwind just like covers the entire battlefield. It's hilarious. Okay, merciless power. Let's go crit damage. 48% or no, we're just gonna go crit damage to 48. Multicast chance of your swing weapons, or yeah, might as well just that goes up by 24%. Damage increase to armor shatter, 45% damage increase. Yeah. boss? No? Just change music. Okay, powerful strikes. Do that. 60% damage. Not bad. Okay. 
Food and math, the nation of ice again. Damage increase. A burst skills. So that's two of my skills. 40%. Let's do it. Easy lemon squeezy. Uh, okay, air of effect. A burst again. Sharp blades. Damage by 12. Or do I just go with magnet? I'm gonna go with magnet. Even if it's stupid. Uh, chain. Nah. Cast a skill type of electric. You have a chance of casting another type of swing. I'll do that. Okay, I ran right into that meter. Two more bosses left. Damage increase to chain lightning to 120. Cast frequency up to uh, 5% to 40. Legendary skill. So when you cast a skill type of swing, you have a chance of casting another type. Electric. Which is huge. Let's do that. Multicast. Increases multicast chance of electric to 24%. Why not? Let's do it. Spreading armor. Every time you apply bulk word, you have a chance to gain aptitude. Chance 25, aptitude, critical damage 2%. Do that. I only have one slam attack, but. Eh. I have one though. Might as well use it. Area of effect modifier whirlwind up to 60%. Yeah, you know I'm taking that. Almost to the point where it's like past the visible range of the screen. Okay, damage increase to Thunderbolt. 120%. We'll do that. Whenever you cast a skill type of electric, you have a chance of casting another type of swing. Yeah, let's bump that up to 18%. Cast a lot of electric damage, so might as well take advantage of it. Got another boss. Multicast up to 48% for Thunderstrike. Limit damage. The incarnation of fire. Multicast chance of chain lightning up to 144 or unbreakable. Damage reduction plus two. I'm gonna take that. Oh, he did. 
Multicast power of electric. Up to 48%. Yep. One more boss left. Uh, let's go Relentless for cast speed up to 45%. Not bad, not bad. Slash, do that. One sixty five. Come on. All right, boss time. Alfred, the fallen king. Chain lightning attack speed, hell yeah. My area effect is way bigger than his is. And he did. Got him. Attack speed of lightning bolt, 70%. We'll take that. Alright. Choose a portal. We just went through the purple one. Blue one, do. We have lightning discharge at 115 million damage per skill. That's not bad, not bad. Materials collected. What are these materials? What do they do? I'm assuming the materials is probably for building weapons. Hmm. Is that it? Victory, Scorching Earth. Restart, back to the main menu. Did I mess up? Or is that it? Well, seems like that's it. Sweet. Oh yeah. There you go. Well, that was our first look into Soulstone Survivors. It wasn't too bad. Uh, finally beat around, so that's sweet. Um, on, a, on even an increased difficulty, so it's not like we just bitched out. So, awesome. Well, I'll see you next time on Wrench Feels Like Playing.